All right. Now we're doing, uh, now we're here at the Free Code Camp JavaScript Algorithms and Data Structures uh, main page. So this one's going to be a little reedy. So if you want to skip forward uh, and not listen to this and read it yourself, that's your business. Uh, but here we go. While HTML and CSS control the content and styling of a page, JavaScript is used to make it interactive. In the JavaScript Algorithm and Data Structures certification, hmm? Uh, we'll learn the fundamentals of JavaScript, including variables, arrays, objects, loops, and functions. Once we have the fundamentals down, we'll apply that knowledge by creating algorithms to manipulate strings, factorialize, factorialize, factorialize numbers, and even calculate the orbit of the International Space Station. Fun stuff. Along the way, we'll also learn two important programming styles or paradigms. Object-oriented programming, oop, and functional programming. Just kidding on that one. Anyway, uh, here's a note, and this might be important to some of us. Uh, some browser extensions, such as ad blockers and script blockers, can interfere with the tests. If we face issues, uh, we're recommended to disable extensions that modify or block the contents of pages while taking the course. Okay. And guess what? We got some more reading. So here's the first one we're going to do is basic JavaScript. So JavaScript is a scripting language that we can use to make web pages interactive. It is one of the core technologies of the web, along with HTML and CSS, and is supported by all modern browsers. In this course, we're going to learn fundamental programming concepts in JavaScript. We're going to start with a basic Pardon me, we're going to start with basic data structures like numbers and strings. Then we'll learn to work with arrays, objects, functions, loops, if else statements, and more. What else is there? <laughs> Probably like one other thing. Anyway, uh, whatever. Let's expand the course. Uh, comment our JavaScript. We don't even have steps in this one. Look at this. I'm going to have to read every single one of these. And then look at this. Look at all these words. How am I going to get 10 videos out a day out with this? We'll see, right? So anyway, now we're on to comment our JavaScript code, and we'll see you next time.